Hey everyone, this is Matt N3 VAN, and thought I'd throw together a quick video. It's raining outside, can't do much parks on the air, so uh, I figured I'd show you how to update a Nano VNA H4 model, and it's made by Zinco in China. It is not the original one; it's a it's a copy, but it works great. I've I've had a bunch of those uh, rig experts. I've had both the uh, AA35 and the AA55. Great, great devices to. Uh, uh, measure antenna as well as fine-tune long wire antennas but I, I found myself using the nano vna a lot more than i was using those so i actually threw them up on qrz and sold them both and uh, absolutely love this little nano vna much smaller i could toss it in my pack which is mainly what i do for when i go on parks on the air or do winter field day or even regular field day with the club so we can make sure the antennas are fine-tuned so we can get the best uh, bang for our power when we're doing tra uh, transmitting. So, uh, great, great device. The Nano VNA is a very capable device. Uh, no, I wouldn't use it for a multi million dollar array, but for most of us, this will, you know, work very well. So, first thing you want to do is find out what version you have. And let me zoom in here so you guys can see. Let's turn it on. See if I can zoom in a little bit. Is that good? Let's see. All right, there we go. No, Matt, don't move it. <laughs> so what you want to do to find out what version you currently have is tap on the screen, go to config, and click on version. And the current version I have is version 1. Point, let me get the, uh, do I have my little pen around here? Where is it? There it is. All right, I got version 1.2.14. And... Uh, Yep, that's the current date. Yep, and it's accurate. March 25th, 2023. The time, yeah, it's actually pretty accurate. There we go. And um, what you want to do is find the, there it is, based on Dislord, Dislord, <laughs> or however you want to say it, and um, Eddie, the original guy, Eddie555. So um, this build time was August 31st, 2022. I did look on the computer, and there is a newer version, and I'll show you that shortly. So... Uh, what you want to do is plug this into your computer using the USB port. This one on the Nano uh, VNA H4 has a USB-C. So plug this in the computer and hold on one second. I'll show you what we have to do on the computer screen. All right, now on to the computer. So since we know the ver current version of the Nano VNA H4, we can actually go to the GitHub website for Dislord and download it. And I'll be providing the link to this, but it's GitHub slash Dislord slash nano vna d slash releases and the current one is version 1.2.20 about two weeks ago as of today which is march 25th 2023 so what you want to do is go down to the bottom here under assets and since we have the nano vna h4 download the dfu file uh, i download all three just to have but all you need is the dfu file download that which i already have on my desktop and you're good to go but there's one more thing that you need to actually install this and that is the bootloader software and that's over here and that's by st.com and that's the dfuse usb device firmware upgrade and i'll be providing this link as well in the description but you click on get software and it hits you down to the bottom and uh, what you want to do is hit get latest it's going to have a little software form to throw you into a newsletter eh, i don't really care about that so i might actually throw the current software that's out there right now um, onto my uh, personal website and throw the link in the description as well but uh, if this is a video that you're watching uh, maybe a few weeks months or a year later uh, you probably would want to fill this out to get the latest version so you fill out your first name last name email don't have to click on this bottom part here that's just to inform you of future updates and then go over here and click download we're not going to do that because we already have that and it's on the desktop right here so i have a little folder nano vna h4 firmware update and these are the files you need you probably won't see the hex of the bin i downloaded that like i said just to have and uh, what we're concerned about to get first installed is the en.stsw bootloader software the defuse demo um, and what we want to do actually is extract this onto the same folder there we go and it reopens and we want to install this so we want to install the executable so double click on the dfuse demo version 3.0.6 underscore setup so we're going to do that right now 
I hit next. Yep, that's me, username Matt. Uh, yep, destination folder looks good. Hit install, yep, allow. And let's launch the program. All right, let's close out that window. That is just basically the information, the readme file. And available DFU files. Well, nothing's in there for the DFU devices, actually, because we have to put it into DFU mode. And I'll be showing you that right now. Okay, so now that we have the software installed on the computer, let's get this into the uh, DFU mode. And to do that on the Nano VNA H4, you have to push down on the multi-select wheel right here, push down, and turn it on. Now, you'll notice nothing comes up on the screen. That's because it's in the DFU mode. If it comes up normally where you see the uh, Smith chart or the SWR or any other patterns on there, that means you're not in DFU mode and you need to try again. So, have it plugged in. We're in DFU mode. Let's get back to the computer and install this firmware. Okay, now we're actually in the DFU mode, and let's go here. Ooh, not found yet. All right. Close it out and reopen it. This up, DFU demo. Hmm, still nothing. All right. Well, if you have the same issue, let's see what Device Manager says. Ah, uh, okay. All right, Device Manager has a warning on there. Something's up. So what you're probably going to do is hit Update Driver. Search automatically. Ooh, Windows hasn't uh, was unable to install the STM32 bootloader. Well, if you got this like I did, don't panic. Uh, what you want to do is right-click on here, click on Update Driver, browse my computer for drivers, and what you want to do is toggle over to uh, the program file. If this is Windows, uh, program files x86 and uh, slash STM ST Micro Electronics and um, Click next, and hey, look, STM device in DFU mode. Boom, and it brings it right down here into universal serial bus controllers. So if you see this, you're good, but if you ran into that little problem, I just wanna show you guys that you can actually uh, fix that without panicking too much. So um, once that's in there, we're good. We can get out of device manager, and hey, look, it's over there. So now that it's there, what you wanna do is actually choose the, um, the DFU file, obviously there's only one device, so STM uh, device in DFU mode. All right, we're gonna choose this, hang on one second, desktop. There we are, there's the DFU file. Hit open, file correctly loaded, that's a good sign. And then the next one is uh, we wanna upgrade. Now, all right, we can't power off, don't disconnect, make sure your cat's not on the desk and uh, kid's not on your lap, so hit yes. Cross our fingers, erasing phase, erasing, yep. And yes, after this, you probably will have to recalibrate. We're gonna find out if we lose anything. All right, upgrade has been successful, and that is a good sign, so we are good to go. And uh, what I'll do is, uh, we're done with the computer, so I'll show you what it looks like when we power it up and see if I lost any of my settings or configurations. All right, let's see uh, how it looks with the update completed. Let's see, let's turn it off and back on. Ah, yep, all my configurations and settings have been wiped, which uh, <laughs> that's similar to doing like the Mars mod on the VX6R. Make sure, well, I don't think you can do a backup. So on this one, once you do an update, uh, you have to go through and redo all the configurations. Uh, even the calibration, maybe? Yep. Let's see if the version shows. There it is. Version 1.2.20, March 12th. Not too long ago. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. If uh, this was informative for you, please consider subscribing or giving it a thumbs up. If you have any questions on this, please throw them in the comments. I'll be glad to help you out with your Nano VNA or Nano VNA H4. That's the one I have. And uh, again, thank you for watching and see you on the next video.